<laughs> the bad news bears, man. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Dines with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to preview and predict Monday night's matchup. Yes, it's a Monday night game. <laughs> They're on national TV again between the uh, Houston Texans and the Dallas Cowboys. Um, before I get into this video, man, big thanks to all my channel donors. If you want to be a channel donor, drop a dial on the Cash App. That information is down in the description box. Uh, also, if you want to follow me on social media and I co-host a sports talk radio show every Sunday, all that information is down in the description box. If you're a subscriber to the channel, greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the bell notification button, like button. Uh, and share the video with your folks. Like the video and share it with your folks. To all you Dallas Cowboy fans, I want to let y'all know something sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I don't like y'all. I can't stand y'all. And boy, y'all got another primetime game, huh? <laughs> like... I mean, I thought people could have flexed out of game. I thought, like, last year you could have started flexing out of Monday night games. But I guess, you know, everybody want to see Houston. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's the only reason I ain't even talking about y'all, because y'all on Monday night, yo. And it ain't nothing else to do Monday night. Um, but first, man, looking at the Houston, Texas. Man, Houston, what's up, Houston, man? Come on, man. Houston had a 16-point lead against the Detroit Lions. Got five interceptions from Jared Goff. Was at home and still lost the game. Like, come on, man. Help, help a brother out, man. Like, we we, we want to potentially try to get home field advantage if we could get out of this division. And y'all ain't help, man. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, You know, clearly they shorthanded. Um, CJ Stroud, you know, kind of didn't have a great game neither. But... It happens when you're missing when you're missing weapons. I mean, he's missing his best receiver, Nico Collins. Um, I'm not sure if he's gonna play this game or not. And also, obviously, Stephon Diggs is out for the year with an ACL. Um, so yeah, when you take a quarterback's best weapon, he don't look as good. I mean, it happens, you know. Um, but C.J. Stroud, um, you know, good young quarterback, man. Just gotta get his weapons. <laughs> Uh, Joe Mixon, though, has been a real, real pleasant surprise for them. Um, you know, looking like somebody the Bengals could use all of a sudden, but he's doing really, really good running the football in, um, you know, in Houston. Uh, Mechie, you know, stepping in for the uh, injuries at wide receiver. Shout out to him. You know, he had the whole situation with leukemia and everything. Great to see him persevering and doing this thing out there. And uh, defensively, they was missing Will Anderson in this game. Like I said, don't know if he's going to be available for this one. Um, but, you know, uh, they got Daniel Hunter over there, you know, uh, and also they got my boy Derek Stingley Jr. on the back end. And for Dallas, I mean, they just come off of getting spanked by my Eagles last week in Jerry World, when Jerry wasn't even on camera. One did Jerry go at least show up to this when, so we could see his face, you know. Um but obviously, you know, they got injuries, though, to be fair to them, man. Dak Prescott is out. Um, last week put a lot of the Cooper Rush better than Dak, you know, conversations to bed. Um, but, yeah, it was just real, real easy win for my Eagles last week. Um, you know, Dabo is actually a decent running back, but Zeke just looked cooked. You know, C.D. Lamb is a good receiver as long as he could see he um ferguson has been a big disappointment for them this year at tight end and defensively they did get michael parsons back he did make plays he did talk about the coach um you know and uh they just got a lot of you know trevon D's got a nice pick last week um they just got a lot of issues over that man they got a lot of issues with injuries they got a lot of issues with garbage play and they got a lot of issues in their locker room yo uh, which is going to make for, I'm sure, quite the soap opera on Monday night. Uh, but my keys to this game, man, for Houston, just don't turn over the ball, man. The only reason Dallas was able to keep this game somewhat competitive, in the, uh, well, it was competitive at halftime, was because they got two turnovers. 
And for Dallas, they got to force turnovers. Turnovers is the key to this game. If Houston don't turn it over, they'll be all right. If Dallas force turnovers, they'll give themselves a chance. As far as my prediction, man, to be honest, it's an easy one, man. Houston go go in there and, and, and beat up on Dallas like everybody else been doing. Um, this Dallas team want to be put out of their misery. They're looking for a higher draft pick. I mean, you know, and Houston come, lost two in a row after a 62 start. They get back on track with a uh, with a convention win Monday night. Uh, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and the content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.